hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's a girl linda right here and today's video i'm going to be doing a hair tutorial so basically i'm going to apply clippings and the hair that i'm gonna be used today is going to be the hair that i used before as you guys know i had my weave on the one that i have ordered on amazon i actually like it actually it's my first human hair that i actually bought and for myself i never used to really wear weave i does but most of the time most of the time synthetic so yeah and now i'm making different changes changes out of it i'm making different style different looks so yeah why not film it for y'all if you're new on my channel don't forget to subscribe like comment and share press the bell as well as soon as i upload a video you don't miss out and also follow me on instagram where i do share a lot of good stuff so with that being said, let's jump right into the video. As you guys know already, I text locks my hair. A few days ago, a few weeks ago, which almost a month ago, I text locks my hair. If you didn't check that video yet, you should check it out. I'm going to put the link up here so you guys can definitely check it out. And this is how it looks after two weeks. Basically, I did went to the beauty salon. I went to get my hair washed, blow out, flat iron, and also cut the ends. I actually decided to cut the ends because I cut them even because I want them to grow um, strong, long. Not really long, but I want them to be thick and full. So that's why I didn't do it by myself and I didn't do my... Um, I didn't do it by myself after this new transition, new hair... Um, journey I wanted to go to a professional to do it for me before and then I can so basically that's exactly what I have done I cut them I blow dry and flat iron and after one day not even one day after a few hours my hair from blow dry got back like this so basically my hair is kind of I still have the forciness into it but not 100% so yes, I like it. I honestly like it because it's easier and better. It's fa it's easier to manipulate like I have said before and I have mentioned it so many times. It's easier, way much easier to manipulate, way much easier to work with. So that's the reason why I do like it. Yeah, basically that's going to be it. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to apply those clip-ins. Clip -ins. And those clip-ins, I did it myself. I bought some clip-ins and I sewed them in. Basically, I'm going to just insert a few uh, small video where you guys can see um, how did I how did I actually sew my clippings into these weave and how did I measure them all. I did struggle a little bit. I did want to give up because I find it was a lot of work, but I just leave it aside, take a break from it, and then start again. So yes, Kitty, as you guys can see, I am measuring the hair, make sure the hair are the same length and it goes from short to long. So I know exactly where to put it. And then I'm going to sew in the clip ins. As you guys can see, there's nothing much that I can explain about it if you know how to sew. So basically, you might be able to sew a clip in into a weave. But I'm going to show you guys the process and the step by step how it works. And you guys might have an idea. And if it's not clear enough, definitely feel free to leave a comment below. And I will definitely do a separate video, a separate video how to sew your clip ins into your weave. going to measure them to see which one is longer than other this one is longer than this one so basically this one is going um, all the way down and this one is going to be uh, on top so I'm going to use this one at the back of my head and this one a little bit um, on top of my 
hit. So I'm going to start from the bottom of my hair. There you go. Okay, and I'm going to take the shortest hair. Shortest hair, which is this one. I'm going to open the clippings and I'm going to insert that from here close to here you guys can see right now that I am using my finger instead of a comb reason why is because I'm not looking for a perfect line I am separated here with my finger because we don't we're not looking for a, a perfect line so the hair the clip ends can really um, sit in the hair if that makes sense okay I hope I did explain it well but yes like I said it's kind of hard to understand but yes that's how it is if you make a straight line the hair the clipping will slide down easily then have a unperfect hairline So far I have used only three bundles of hair and we're going to brush the hair down to see exactly where does the does we miss some hair so we can add a little bit more to make it look a little bit more full because you guys know I love to take care. So I am going to add a little bit more of the hair into the front side of my hair and um again i'm going to give you that guys that tip make sure when you're adding the um clip ends you are clipping the hair on your real hair instead of really focusing on putting the clip ends into the scalp of your hair remember you want to blend the extension with your hair Only one thing I might dislike about the clippings is because it's not black. Um, if if it was black, even though it might show a little bit um, through your hair, it won't make a big difference. But since it's silver, it's stainless steel, so it will definitely yeah, it will definitely show. All right. So basically, this is the hair. I still have more clip-ins. I still have more clip-ins left. I'm not going to install no more. I have two left. I have like how many? Oh my god. I didn't count how many here I have here on. But as you guys can see, it didn't blend out the way I wanted to blend in. But still it looks okay. It's not that bad, but still it didn't blend the way I wanted to blend in. It wouldn't be perfect while my my hair was still flat ironed like it was when I had when I went to get my hair done. So that's exact. That's the time that I actually wanted to. Uh, that's the time that I actually wanted to um, insert those clip ins because I know for a fact that this type, this hair is Peruvian hair and it's not going definitely not not it's not going to blend perfectly with my hair. Okay, so um so far it's not that that bad and i'm not going to flat iron my hair no no <laughs> that's gonna be a no no i'm not going to flat iron my hair this is how the um clippings look like as you guys can see it's not that bad at all i don't hate it that much but 
um i will definitely still use it yeah let's see if we add some moisture into the hair some you know shine and stuff to see how it's going to end up looking like but but it's not bad it's it's actually not bad i don't hate it so i'm going to use my eco styler styler gel okay and i'm going to style my hair so i don't think i'm going well i still can just wear it like that but it can be nicer if i do something with it so i'm going to lay down the front side so i can blend everything with it okay as you guys can see you guys may see a little clip in here so we're just gonna cover it with my actual hair boom I don't like how this one stays, so I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna put it a little bit more lower. Okay. What about now? Yes, perfect. all right so basically this is the hair okay at the end you can see the hair didn't blend perfectly but at the front you guys can see it's nice and sleek it's beautiful i like it but the only issue is the blending at the ends it's not too, too bad at all okay so what can i do with this clip in i can definitely wear a bun with it do other type of hair but it still does the job i can say so yeah basically that's it so let's try to do a slick bun with it why not All right, so this is it. So basically, I can say that if I'm in a rush and I wanna have a nice lip bun and a nice hairstyle, I will definitely do this. Cause I like it, to be honest, I do. I like how my front looking like, I know how the back it's looking. The This is how I would rock my hair. I will definitely put it in a ponytail and you know do a nice slick bun with it. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys do like it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Hopefully um, I might share a good idea with y'all. Maybe you you didn't think about it and you just watch this video and you'll be like hmm actually that's a good idea give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you did like the idea and how creative i could have been and think about just do eclipse with it and have a very easy application and um another easy way to another easy way to just rock your hair you know since i cut my hair sometimes you're boring you're tired of just having your hair short and you want to do something different so and you don't want to wear a wig because you don't have to use no glue you don't have to use yeah you don't have to use glue nothing of that it's not gonna be a whole process so you want a one two three go so that's a good idea since i'm not a weak person to be honest i'm still not a weak person but i still want to try it <laughs> um this one might be my favorite you know so yeah and weave you actually have to do it by yourself and it does take time or you have to actually go by a beauty salon and pay so they can do it for you but this one is actually affordable 
it's affordable it's easy it's fast you can remove it anytime wash your hair and redo it again change your hairstyle whenever you want to almost like a week you know have different type of clip-ins wear it up wear it down do whatever you want with it if you are tired with your hair you tired of having it short you tired of whatever whatever it is i think clip-ins is a good um one to trigger so basically we reach at the end of this video give it a thumbs up again and definitely share with me your thoughts and definitely feel free to dm me and yeah see you guys in another one